we are going to learn how you can take backup of your Azure Data Factory and restore with different name. So here I have uh, my ADF uh, called Asia Zod dash ADF. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one and then we are going to take a look uh, what it has. So you can use uh, this open Azure Data Factory Studio. Click here. And now what you're going to see you're going to see the Azure Data Factory. Here is a home page and then we have author. And uh, in the author, you can go to the pipelines and I have this single pipeline that reads the data from uh, uh, my uh, one of the blob storage and load the data to the SQL server. So let me show you right there. So if you go here, go to the home and uh, I have this uh, storage too that has some file and uh, it reads those files uh, and uh, then load to the SQL server. So in the input folder, I have this uh, employee file sitting right there that it reads uh, and uh, then uh, uh, load to the SQL server. So if uh, you go and uh, hit edit, I have only two records here. So this uh, pipeline uh, just works just fine. Uh. So what I'm going to do, I can go ahead and debug uh, and let me show you uh, on my SQL server what I have. Here is the table that it loads. Uh. So what we are going to do, we are going to take a look on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and execute. Why I'm doing it? Because after we restore, I want to run this, uh, the new restore uh, uh, pipeline from the uh, copy that we are going to restore. And then I'm going to show you it works. So, so that's why I'm, I'm going through all that. So uh, this uh, pipeline is in the queue right now. It should be loading some data. Right now, there is no data in this table. So now it loaded two files. Okay, all good. Now what we are going to do here, we are going to take the backup of this and then restore with a different name. So uh, we are all good here. You're going to go to monitor. You can see pipeline runs and all those kind of information there. But we are not interested in that. So we are going to go to the manager tab right here. And we are going to go to the ARM template. Uh, if you notice that I do not have any uh, setup code repository such as Git or DevOps or anything like that. Uh, my um, uh, It's a simple data factory. It does not have any code uh, repository set up. So uh, this could be a scenario. Maybe you started as a dev, then you are creating UAT or you, know, you are just uh, testing the whole thing uh, and uh, taking the backup and restoring with different uh, uh, name. So that is uh, one of the possibility. So you go to the ARM template and uh, here what you're gonna do, you're gonna export. Uh, so that means you are making a backup of your Azure Data Factory. And then uh, we will come back and we will import. So there are certain things that uh, you need to remember here in the uh, pipelines, if you guys have seen uh, the pipelines, I have uh, linked services. So let's go back here in the monitor. Uh, so, if, sorry, if you go to the pipelines here, so there are some data sets we are using uh, so for SQL Server, and then we are using uh, the file system here, the storage where the files are. So the, these things are important. So uh, what we are going to do, once uh, we restore, we are going to uh, have to worry about that part. So right here. So this is our SQL, uh, Azure SQL, and then uh, there is an input folder that's a blob storage. So we have to worry about providing the connection strings for that one. If I would have used a key vault, then I would not have to worry about that. So in the ARM template, let's go ahead and export it. Now we are exporting it, and the ARM template download completed. I'm going to click on the folder, and then see right there. So it's a zip file. And I can go ahead and I can say extract all. So it's uh, going to unzip that. Okay, so extract all, yes. So these are the files. Uh, it is uh, giving us a couple of folders and then uh, these files. Uh, and here is our ARM template. So let's go ahead and take a look. If we open this, uh, we can open it with a notepad or anything like that. So in my case, uh, it is opening with the uh, Visual Studio. So you can see right there. So this is a, our default uh, factory name. Then it has a pipeline information and uh, that uh, it has uh, other uh, information for our uh, different objects. So, okay. So we are not uh, too much worried about this one, but we are going to use this uh, arm underscore template dot JSON file uh, to restore. Uh, this is uh, for parameters. Uh, so we uh, we, are, we are not worried. We have to only provide this file and then uh, link templates and all those uh, 
the information is there as well and the factory that's uh, Asia's are the, that's it tells like uh, uh, the factory name and everything so we are all good here now the steps to restore first of all what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a new uh, blank uh, uh, data factory so I'm gonna go to the Azure portal here data factories uh, and here I will provide a new I'm gonna create a new Azure uh, data factory so this is uh, my subscription this is my resource group and the uh, east uh, us2 is fine and i'm going to call this an ashazad adf backup let's create this one now it's asking that you want to do the git configuration no i'm not interested in any git configuration right now so i'm going to leave the that's one uh, uh, just check mark that and then create uh, without any git configuration no? So it is in progress right now. Uh, hopefully it will be done in just uh, maybe 20, 30 seconds. And uh, then we can restore our all the pipelines. So our uh, Azure Data Factory is ready. Let's go to our resource group. Uh, and here we can see that uh, Asia-ZAD-ADF backup is ready. So what we can do, we can open this uh, as well. And here is our old data factory from where we exported the uh, the entire data factory as the ARM template. Now in the next one, uh, that's empty or blank, uh, we are going to restore. So we are going to go to manage again. And here we are going to go to ARM template again. And here we will say import uh, on Azure portal. So we are importing uh, uh, ARM template. Update your Azure data factory environment by importing an ARM template. So we export it first and then we are going to go ahead and import it. So let me go right there. And here we have different options. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the build your own template in our editor. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, I'm going to delete all this uh, information. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload uh, a load file. So once I click on the load file, it's going to ask, uh, show me all the files. And here is the ARM template that we have extracted from the zip file. So ARM underscore template dot JSON, that's the file we are going to use. And here is our all uh, the pipelines and everything, and whatever is available in the exported file. So this ARM, fold, ARM file has uh, uh, everything uh, here is uh, the old uh, uh, factory name so now i have to restore to the ashes backup right so that's uh, the name of our new uh, factory all right so what we will do here is going to ask us there are some parameters and all that you have to provide that so if i will hit save uh, it's going to ask me okay where you would like to do that so i'm going to provide the resource group and uh, it's going to uh, that's the name factory name it took it and now it is asking me provide that all the information you have used in your Azure Data Factory that you um, exported. So input uh, folder connection string I have to provide and uh, Azure SQL connection. So let's say if you are using a lot of linked services and you're making different connection to different uh, uh, blob or SQL server or Oracle connectors or whatever, you have to provide that all the information when you restore it. The best way is to use Key Vault and uh, save your information there. So when you restore, it will automatically pick that. In my case, I did not save the information in Key Vault, so I have to provide that. So here, input folder connection string. So if you guys remember that in my uh, factory here, I have this uh, pipeline and that use uh, that uh, uh, if you click here in the source, so that's where it uses a connection, right? Input folder. And uh, that's, uh, uh, and then I have other one. That's our sync, uh, that's our uh, Azure SQL database. So, so these are two linked services uh, for which I have to provide the information when I'm restoring back. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here. First of all, I have to provide the, the input folder connection string. So I'm going to go to the home and I know that it's a storage. So storage two, that's what it is. And I'm going to go to the access keys here. And uh, then uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I can uh, just uh, say show keys and then uh, what I can do connection string. So I can copy this. Uh, I have, I can go back here where I'm restoring and I can just paste it there. Okay, so it looks good. And now next is a Azure SQL database one connection string that I have to provide. So I have to go back here, go to the SQL. So here is my SQL tech browser IT database and uh, the database I'm using uh, 
is the tech browser it so i will go to the yep that's the tech browser it database so i'm here uh, so if you guys see here uh, there are multiple ways if i go to the sql server here uh, from there what i'm going to do i go to the sql databases and uh, use the database uh, that uh, you have used in the linked uh, services uh, so here is tech browser it right so i'm going to go to the connection strings and then uh, from there, it provided me adu.net, uh, JDBC, ODBC, PHP, and Go uh, connection strings. Uh, so what I have to do, I have to copy this whole thing here. And uh, this has server name, and uh, then you have to provide your password. So I'm going to copy this, uh, copy to the clipboard, and uh, I can open a notepad, and uh, then provide the password here, or uh, let me see if I can provide the password here. OK. My, no, I cannot uh, provide a password, so I have to copy, go to the uh, notepad, uh, and uh, then in the notepad I have to make uh, changes, uh, and where it says uh, your password, I have to provide uh, my password. So I'm going to provide my password here. Now, once after providing the password, uh, what I have to do, I have to copy uh, this whole string, and then uh, I have to go to the right here and that's where I have to paste so it looks good now I'm gonna go ahead and review and create it's a validation completed and now I'm gonna hit the create and it's restoring the arm template to the new Azure data factory so it's working right now and once it will be done we should see a pipeline in our uh, dash adf dash backup uh, directory go to resource group okay here is our uh, adf dash backup and it's already open here so what i can do i can go here and uh, right now it's not showing anything because we have to refresh so i'm refreshing and uh, this is our newly restored ADF. So you see that name Ashazad dash ADF that backup. That's our name. That's the pipeline it has restored. And uh, then uh, we have. Uh, if I go to the monitor, um, okay. So I'm gonna go here, and in linked services you can see that uh, Azure SQL database one input folder. Uh, for uh, these were the linked services that they are restored as well. And uh, if you guys remember, I have to provide the uh, connection string for both of them so this looks good and uh, what we can do now this is the restored copy uh, from our uh, Azad dash uh, adf so that was uh, our original one and then we have Azad dash adf dash backup that's our restored copy of our azure data factory so this is how you can uh, make a backup of your uh, azure data factory and restore with a new name now uh, how uh, we are uh, sure if this works uh, so i'm going to go to the pipeline and then uh, what uh, we are going to do the, i mean the restored copy of that let me take a look uh, and show you actually table if you can see that uh, it has only four records right now and if i will go ahead and run this uh, pipeline it should run first of all it should run uh, successfully and second part it should load some data to the table so uh, it's in the queue right now it's working so it's uh, almost there so it's in queue now let's see in real world uh, what you will do when you will uh, uh, have your uh, data factory set up you would like to set up with the get so in case uh, your data factory is deleted you can always restore your data factory from the arm template so in the next videos i'm going to show you how to set up the git repository and then uh, delete your data factory and restore and all those uh, different steps i will show you guys so our uh, uh, ADF, uh, sorry, our uh, pipeline has completed. It has written four rows, uh, so we are all good here. We can go ahead and take a look uh, on our table. So you can see that now I have eight records, uh, all good. So this is how you will uh, back up and restore your Azure Data Factory uh, as a different name. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope this video will help. If you guys like my effort, go ahead and subscribe my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.